Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Testing, double. <laughs> And good afternoon, everybody, or good morning to all of our American visitors, uh, watchers. We are here at the 2024 International Buggy Challenge at the B Buggy Arena in beautiful Barcelos, Portugal. And a happy Easter or happy Good Friday to everybody. Uh, the story of the day has been the weather. It has been a topsy-turvy uh, morning of weather. We even seen some hail about an hour ago, but the the uh, crew here at the Bee Buggy Arena has done an excellent job getting the, trap, the track in order. It was just hailing her about an hour ago and we are racing on her now. Unfortunately, we don't, a lot of the top drivers pulled out with the weather coming, uh, but we do have top drivers like Bort, the Killix brothers, we have the Parente brothers here as well. Of course, we have Yao Figueroa and the fast Portuguese guys, but we have racers from all over Europe here and even from South America and one from Bermuda as well. Shout out to Chemo RC. We'll be streaming this on the RC Racing TV, YouTube, and Facebook all day. We are getting ready to start our first round of qualifiers. There will be four. Uh, I will be on the mic here shortly, giving you the commentary and hanging out with you guys in the chat. Come on over, hang out with us, and watch uh, this beautiful event happening here. And uh, these, the track crew putting in all, all the hard work, getting the track ready. And of course, to all the racers who are braving the uh, elements and... Uh, 
running their cars here. This track dries exceptionally well. It's drying out now. It's probably a little rain coming here, showers now and then, and it's a little bit cold, but the racers are racing and we want to bring you the best coverage possible. So tune in all day tomorrow and watch some exciting nitro buggy and electric buggy racing here from the B-Buggy Arena at the International Buggy Challenge 2024. I'm your host, Lefty the Great, and Nitro is the Glory, and E-Buggy is paying some of the bills here, but it's definitely drying the track. Let's get back to the coverage.
Good afternoon, everybody. Just doing some mic checks here. Let us know how the volume is coming in for you in the chat. Good afternoon. Good morning to everybody. I know some of you are tuning in from over in the USA. It's still morning time over there on the East Coast. Let us know if uh, the audio is coming uh, through for you guys clearly and loudly so we can make some adjustments. We do depend on you, the chat, to help us out here. I can hear myself coming through there. want to say a big shout out to the RC Racing TV crew and the local federation here that's putting this together for you guys. What's up, Derek? How are you? Hello, D70 Racing, Mario MG, Remy Modelswood, Zach Meadows in our YouTube chat. Okay, sounds good, Helder. Everybody says it sounds good. Boa tarde to all of our Portuguese followers. How are you? The story of the day has been braving the elements. We have had hail, rain, sun. It's not very good weather here. It's a little bit cold, but this track has drained exceptionally well. Uh, and the B-Buggy Arena crew have done a great job here getting it ready. It's a little different from the IBC that I saw last year where it was completely dry and it was like high traction. Now we got a little bit of dust. We got sawdust over so it's completely changed. We want to thank you all for tuning in. We're about to get our moving cameras ready as well. So we shall see how what's going on here with everybody. A big shout out to Mr. Jao Duras, who can't be with us today. He just sent me a message. I hope you're healing up well, my friend. And unfortunately, I haven't got to see you. But don't worry, I still have your gift for you, and I will give it to you. Good morning, Tom Shields. Salty, salty Joe, how are you? Good morning to everybody. <clears throat> As you can see, this track, I, look at this. There's our cameraman. This track was completely being drenched by water about an hour and a half ago. And we've been racing on it now for about 30 minutes. So this track drains absolutely exceptional. This is our first heat of the Pro E Buggy Q1. Parente is out, out followed by Figueredo, Montero, Andre Bento, who I call the Davide Angaro doppelganger, Leo, Theo Lemaire, uh, the younger Parente, Burak Kilik, Hugo Taravan, Reno Savoya, Casa, uh, and everybody. Jessica Paulson's here. We got the Kiliks here. No star from Burkhan. So not sure what's going on there. Maybe not wanting to get his car dirty. As I bring up my scoring for everybody here, give me a second. It's my pleasure to be back here in beautiful Barcelos. I cannot express how hard the track crew has worked here today. The, the whole club tirelessly working to get this track ready. Uh, you know, it's, especially with the rain and everything happening, but they still were able to get it, uh, get it ready for the racers. And a big shout out to the racers who came and braved the elements as well, because without them, None of this would be possible. And uh, we are getting ready for some good racing here. Uh, there are some rain clouds coming. So, they, they, I mean, this track can still run in the rain. So we will see how it goes. Out front now, it, the young Adrian Parente, who just threw down a 37-8, followed by his older brother, Daniel Yao Figueiredo. So that's three technos out front. Uh, another fast Portuguese driver and veteran, veteran of the scene, Ricardo Monteiro. Theo Lomir from France. Reno the Sharks of Waya, who unfortunately had a little bit of problems as his car was broken into the first night here and they stole his radio uh, and his, his laptops, but he's still here racing. Andre Bento is now in seventh, followed by Burak Kilik and uh, Hugo Taravan. And uh, we have Iago de la, de la Glacia. I cannot say that full name. That is a lot to say. So uh, uh, the soil is, the, so this is what we call a glue track. They actually seal the track with glue. That's one of the reasons why it's able to seal and uh, handle the water so much. But now it has, it's a little dusty after running on it. They did just throw some sawdust in some of the bigger puddles. But I was watching guys earlier run around in puddles as it was. So our camera guy just getting used to it, getting in the flow. A big shout out to Helder and Paolo for all their hard work, getting everything set up. And of course, we have the RC Racing TV guys. They're in the virtual studio back home in the UK. We'll be all together again next week for the E-Buggy World Cup. There you see Ricardo Montero as we come up to the end of this. And it looks like it's going to be, let's see, Yao Figueredo. Uh, 
looking up in that top stop, followed by Ricardo Montero, Adrian Parente, Daniel Parente, and Theo Lomer. So well done. So we have one, Portu one Portuguese, two Spanish, and one French, and one mm -hmm. Portuguese in the top five. No star from Barca and Kelek or Jessica Paulson. So I want to thank all of you guys for joining us in the chat. I am monitoring the chat on both Facebook as well as YouTube. And you know we like to have you guys participate. Uh, and hopefully the weather holds off. Or maybe we'll see some, some weather race in here. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, I would say that when these cars get dirty from the rain, it's not as uh, muddy as you would say some from some of the American tracks with the glue, it does keep it from getting completely saturated with water. So they are able to run on it. Up next is our second heat of e-buggy. So we are qualifying. We've got Pedro Gomez, Iker Telles, the young Spaniard, Villa, Kristen Villar, uh, Gilles Marabi, Morgan Mazur, Dennis Huganag, Thomas Martinez Ray, Adam Reeve, my good friend making it all the way from the UK, Sebastian Corazon, Sergio Caraval, uh, Jere Hortes Giganto, and Laurente Lemil. Hello, everybody. Coach, how are you? Yes, I was talking to the Techno team manager, Elias, earlier, and uh, Techno is making a big push here in Europe. So good to see. As we know, Techno is huge over there in the USA. Big team. They'll be ready for the PMB next weekend. That's the next big race up. For the Americans, we see that the Viking is going over there as well. As we get everything up and running here for all of you. And there we're going to have me focus on the camera without my hat, which is good. Let me put my hat on. Pedro Gomez, Icateles was here last week, last year, very fast, up and coming young Spanish racer, now running techno as well. So, JDC, hello, welcome to the chat. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. I know uh, some of you guys are just waking up. Well, maybe not. Definitely out on the West Coast. Here I am. What's up? Through a window, so you can't see me that good. All right. So, we are getting ready. Jake Lasco, how are you, my friend? Are you going to, uh, up to uh, Tennessee next week for PMB? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, he's going for that NNRC points. I remember. See, Jake wants to get, keep up his points in the NNRC virtual cup that we have going. But I want to say a big thank you to the uh, Figueredo family and the, the crew here at the b Buggy Arena and the Portuguese Federation for bringing me out here again for another year to bring you guys some awesome coverage. It's been, I haven't called a race in about almost two and a half months, so it's good to be back behind the microphone. I was recently in the USA and Florida. Big shout out to my elite RC production crew out there. Uh, my good friends Lance McDonald, Danny Paz, Gene Strout Jr., and Patrick Patricio Rossiter. Good luck to all of you guys this week at Newberry. Hello, Magnus. We were supposed to have a race last weekend, but it got canceled due to rain. So unfortunately, we was not able to do that. But now I'm here in Portugal. I'll be here for two weeks. And yes, then I come back to America in about two weeks time uh, after I leave her. So busy, busy time of the year for us, for me, myself. But a big shout out to all of my RC racing family over there in the USA. I greatly appreciate all the support, especially over there in Florida. I had a good time at the FRCC banquet. No Tom Shields. He is going to PMB. Now, you know, if the Viking wins PMB, I won't shut my mouth for a year. I already ain't shutting my mouth for a year. We shall see. Also, we got the news this morning that the IFMAR World Championships is being moved to Redavon. That's been met with uh, positive and negative comments so we shall see with the cancellation of the race in brazil just last week if mar had to had a choice to send it back give the famar had a chance to present another track that had to be okayed by if mar and it and uh or not it regressed to the previous block that had it which was Ephra. what's up tony bullet i was hanging out with the Killick brothers last night we went out to have food it was a nice evening with them Always good to see Barkan and Borak. So. All good. We want to thank all of you guys. Don't forget to share this. Hello, SJ. How are you? SJ Suarez, como esta? 
Yanif Swan. Chad Washburn, how are you? Please share this, guys. Uh, we're going to get back on our moving cameras. We're just finding the best place to put it. So the, we, are, we are actually working in conjunction with the, the, the gentleman that I, the two gentlemen that I worked with last year. And uh, obviously, RC Racing TV is in the background doing all the virtual, on the virtual ones and twos. So a big shout out to James and Matt and whoever else is Probably James. So James will be here next next week i believe jeff werner what are your thoughts on the de that decision lefty well i'm not gonna lie i was hoping that it would come to this track but uh, i'm hearing some stuff and i'm just i'm waiting for some confirmation on some things i think redavon was exceptional last year uh in 2022 the, the baldos did an exceptional job it was an exceptional world I see that they're going to change the track completely, which is great. Um, I understand with five months left to go, why the decision was probably made to give it to them. But, uh, you know, we'll see. There's other tracks like this one that could have held it as well. They'll be holding the... Actually, this track should be holding the 2025 e-buggy, first e-buggy World Championships next year. That's why we're doing the World Cup here as well. So we shall see. Uh, Redavon's a beautiful place, and... The Baldurs will put on a very good job like they did last year. And I, I'm very interested to see the track changes that they make. So I was talking to, I messaged Brian earlier and congratulated him. And just I confirmed again that they will make, he says, a complete track change. I'm sure there's some parts of the track that they can't change, but they will do a good job. All right, so let's see who we are following now. That might be, and that's not Iker, that's, I know Iker's car. It's been a while since I did some RCM scoring, so I got to get used to that again. But right now, it's Iker Tellez, followed by Gomez, Pedro Gomez, Christian Villar, Pierre Lefluc Leclerc, Sergio Caraval, and Gilles Marabi. We have a big contingent of French drivers here. Also met some guys from Denmark last night. Uh, we have two drivers from Paraguay, Matthias and Alex Lim, the South American champion making his way over here. I'm just glad they got to race. We got Kimo RC, who was in the Azores, but lives in Bermuda. Or Salt, he's a nephew, as I call him. Him and I are sharing a room. Hello, Bill Miller. Uh, Myler, how are you? I think that's, uh, yep, that's two L's. Good morning to you, sir. So, the world is coming back to Europe. There's Iker right there in that green and white techno. Joint techno here last year as well. Very good up and coming. Comes from the fifth scale worlds. Uh, his father used to race fifth scale, and he used to race fifth scale onward as well. And I met him last year, a very nice young man. He's grown quite a lot. Now he's here with his younger brother and his mother and everybody. So it's good to see the families coming out. As you can see, we have some gray weather coming over there. So we might have a, a bit of a shower coming up. I will do my best to keep you entertained while it rains. Uh-oh, we have a runaway down there. That looks like somebody going on at the fisher oh they have to go go down very deep to get that car it looks like litos figueredo right there as well hello bob's rc hope all is well up there in canada i'm pretty sure it's still cold up there but i'm pretty sure summer's on the way and you guys will get back to racing tiger iker is out right now he is currently on a very fast pace looking to set a, a hot lapper and do good he actually won the intermediate if i know forget last year at this race so, there we go. He is currently just threw it on a 37.5, and that's it. Iker finishing up on a... Oh, so they're doing your best three laps. Okay, so I, I, I am mistaken. They are taking their best consecutive laps out of this. Best three consecutive. I was not sure how they were doing it. But they've had to make some modifications in the, in the program today due to the weather. But a big kudos to, the, to this whole federation and this whole facility when i say that these people have they were out here they had the whole facility tarped it was windy and the tarp was knocking people down but they got it done uh it's easter as well you know it's a big uh, easter is a big holiday here in portugal and, and and in spain so but all good we have people racing and it's good to see i'm good to be back over with my european family always liking that I always encourage my, my American friends to come over here and 
and uh, and be a part of this. Chase, will you guys be at the 12 scale European Championships next month? I believe RC Racing TV will be doing that next month. They do all the Afro events, so I'm pretty sure that they will be there doing it. So as we go through some of these races on her, like Marco Amaral, he's from Brazil. He was supposed to come, but did not make the trip. Up next, we have Jose Labara. Borrenado. Marco is not here. Carlos Fonseca. He's got his rubber ducky on his car. Manuel Rigo Lopez. Julian Torella. We have Nicholas Roguero. Ian Rigabar. Rafael Luis Yagui. I have no idea how to pronounce Ruiz. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Ilian Fernandez. And Alex Lim, the South American champion here as well, coming from Paraguay. Very good young man, very fast. Met Alex back in 2022 at, in Redavon. He was actually on the same plane. Hello, bro. How are you, my friend? How is Adam, uh, how is Adam uh, settling into his new life in Germany? Very happy for Adam. Good to see him up there. Um, he did a crash course in German, learned it in six months. Now he's going to have to use it as he is now going to be doing his, uh, furthering his education and doing some apprenticeship work up there in Germany. Very good for the young Malaysian. And I've uh, known Bro and his father, Bro and uh, Adam, for quite some time now and become very good friends with them. Tony Bullet, any Mayako? Yes, we have Alex Lim, who's a Mayako driver. We have uh, The Basement, who's here. Robert, uh, unfortunately, was, uh, did not make it. He saw the weather and I think with his young, young son was not able to make it here. So shout out. Hola, Robert. Como estas? Te extraño mucho. We have a small contingent of Mayako drivers. Alex Lim will be the fastest one, so watch out for him. He should be in this race uh, as well. Making the trip all the way from Paraguay is Alex. So always good to see our international drivers here. And it is absolutely be beautiful here in Barcelos. We've been... You know, it's a little bit chilly. It's in the low uh, Fahrenheit 50s here at night, but comfortable and always good. The food's good, the coffee's good, and the Super Bach is even better. So, and the, it's always good. Very nice here. The pe people in Portugal treat you very good, and always good to be here with my European family as we get back to our moving camera here shortly. As our cameraman is going to get back into the swing of things. There we go. Have to figure out who we're following. If uh, the car is getting dirty, it's very hard to see the numbers. So that's one of the good things here at European races. They do use numbers, and it makes it a little bit easier to find them. If I, if I remember correctly, we are doing uh, it's almost like seeding. where we will do best consecutive three laps. Tony Bullet, suddenly we have two Mayako cars in Rosso. It will be interesting to watch it at local track. Absolutely. Tony Bullet is one of our big contributors on the No Name RC Podcast Discord as well. So good to see you guys racing there in Russia. There's, there's the man who looks like, uh, was that um, uh, Mr. Bento, who I call... Uh, David Angaro's doppelganger. So yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the scheduled Italian and Spanish drivers that were supposed to come to this race, unfortunately, uh, pulled out last minute. I guess they saw the weather forecast and didn't want to deal with that. But kudos to all these racers that came out and braved the weather no matter what. Uh, we're going to have fun no matter what. Let's see if we can find Alex Lim. Here's Alex Lim coming up here in the Mayako MX-8. Is your South American champion. Alex came up to AMS last year for his first big race in the USA. Running in the intermediate class. A very talented young man. So just getting a feel out here for the track. Uh, got to hang out with him when we was in Brazil in 2022. We actually were, he got to race at the Junjiai track. And then we went to the Casa Raceway in Sao Paulo, which was supposed to hold the world's. And he is out there. That's a slow lap for Alex. But remember, I think it's your best three consecutive. And second is Carlos Fonseca, uh, Ilian Fernandez in third, Rafael fourth, and uh, Ruiz in fifth. I am going to have to ask how to say his name. I do apologize. So we want to thank all of you guys for joining us. So what makes this track different from 
Lasher is obviously the surface. Lasher, the surface was completely, because it was completely, well, it's still completely sealed, but there was no rain and the glue had time to dry up. And we had a, a very high grip track. It got a little bit greasy as it went by, went further. But now we're, we have loose, we have sawdust, we have loose dirt. It's still, still got some grip. You can see the groove is starting to form in as these cars uh, barrage through. Oh, Alex making a mistake coming through that double. No, was that Alex? Nope, that was not Alex. Yep, yep, sorry. I'm trying to figure out. We're following a different person here. Give me some time to get all the cars and scoring here. Done uh, set up, and I will know. But Alex Lim still out front currently. In this heat, followed by Carlos Fonseca and Ilian Fernandez. we got two minutes and 22 seconds left to go. And I'm going to have to get uh, my timings uh, sorted out here which I will get once we get uh, sorted here with Helder and the guys. So I can pick up on these racers. I need that. It's currently, oh, there we go, back on, back on track. I want to thank all of you guys for joining in and watching. What's up, Matt Diskin? Dixon, I, I definitely recovered from my meat coma. Oh, man, that was good. By the way, everybody was like, that meat looks so, so uncooked. You actually, the stern was hot, so you can cook the meat to your liking. It was absolutely delicious. We was at La Restaurante Chuva, which was great. We went there last year. And there we see our two racers barreling down that straightaway. Video does not do it justice. The amount of elevation that this track has, I mean, coming down that straightaway, you, you are at a very steep angle, and you are, you are full chat once you hit the bottom of that hill. So very interesting layout here. This will be the home of the 2025 e, first ever E-Buggy World Championships. Talking to the figure raiders, they're very proud. They will be doing a new layout, they say, as well. And everybody's messaging me on Facebook. Sorry, I can't talk. But uh, we'll talk more about the decision uh, for the world to be in in uh, Redavon. Maybe if we get a rain break or something, I'll be here to entertain. Maybe I'll do a, a small. Small live podcast, you know, but with RC Racing TV. Thank you all for joining us, and uh, we'll be here all day, rain or shine. I, I have to, I, I, I cannot express how well this track actually drains like when i mean we literally had about 10 minutes of hard dump it was so it turned into hail actually and i i within 10 minutes this track was they were able to drive on it it wasn't perfect and there we have alex lim his best relapse on 202 followed by Ilian fernandez of a 3208 conseco of a 210 and uh luis rafael with a 222 so well done alex lim He's in intermediate class running this weekend. Oh, somebody getting it big wrong and getting to that catch fence over there. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful facility here, the big B buggy arena. They have one, two, three cafeterias that are serving delicious desserts and cold drinks, hot coffee. Uh, we have sandwiches, all type kebabs, you name it, they have it. They have a lunch area where you can eat. Completely covered pits for over 200 plus drivers, individuals here. So very good to see. And we got gray clouds coming, but that's not going to stop the racing here in Portugal. Hello, Powell. How are you, my friend? Out there on Facebook. Landia, I did not get to see you and JQ on the live last night. I will go back and check it out. 
Where's all our people in our YouTube chat? Everybody's going quiet. So I am here to entertain you guys. Up next is the Eco Heat. Uh, sorry, e, they call it Eco over here. E Buggy Heat 4. I'm not sure if they're if these are split up into sportsmen, intermediate, and pro as well. I don't think so. Oh, we got my friend Matthias, who uh, he was from made the trip from Paraguay as well. Was hanging out with him and his father last night. How's everybody out there in the YouTube landia? Don't forget to smash that like button on the RC Racing TV YouTube and uh, share it as well. One of the... I'll be doing some... Actually, I've been working with Live RC in a few virtual coverage, virtual commentary situations this year as well. Looking forward to that. But a big shout out to everybody out there tuning in. We do apologize for the late start, but uh, Mother Nature plus some technical difficulties. But we got it all sorted out, and Helder and the crew are working tirelessly. And we're getting ready for heat four of Q1 of the e-buggy class. I believe this is the last heat of e-buggy. And then you know what we get into the glory. We got, so I was watching it earlier. We had Nitro plus... Okay, so no split in e-buggy, I'm told. Thank you. All the same class. So I was watching earlier, uh, I think it was, I was watching Ricardo Montero early this morning, and the wet, the track had puddles in certain areas, and slippery, and I said, wow, what a beautiful sight. We have nitro plus a little bit of mud. We have puddles. I, this is like actual rally cross. I thought it was awesome. And the, I'll tell you, the cars don't come off too dirty. They don't get caked with... Uh, a lot of dirt because the dirt with the glue mixture, it, do it doesn't really allow for a lot of dirt to get on the cars. Yes, they get dirty. Yes, you have to clean them, but it doesn't get, you know, I'm 